Hello, fellow travelers. Today, I want to talk about the value of communication. On our journeys, we learn different ways of communicating with fellow travelers, environments around us, nature, inanimate objects, animate objects, such as animals. We learn about thoughts, how they create, how they communicate to others. And we also learn how others communicate with us. And this is where it gets interesting in our realities. Some travelers will communicate only seeing the surface, only reacting to the surface, the words and their interpretation of the words. Other travelers connect with the feelings. And there are some travelers who connect the two. Because what one person says doesn't always convey the feeling in the best possible form. That could lead to confusion. Now I bring this up because recently I had an epiphany on my own journey. And there was an understanding of I myself appreciate direct communication. Because in that direct communication, I get the reduced down, highly con highly concentrated full expression, excuse my dog in the background. I get that full expression of what message someone is attempting to convey to me. And I can usually feel the emotion behind it. That brings me an understanding. What I've seen lately in reflecting on my journey is I've come across some travelers and in an attempt to understand as well as be understood, I worked harder on attempting to communicate in the way that they communicate, believing that if I move how they move, if I talk how they talk, they will understand like I understand. Counterintuitive. I not only did them a disservice, but I did myself a disservice. So I've taken on the approach, and it's been for a few years now, of speaking directly. Very directly. Matter of factly. And it's not, it's not what I expected. I believed that the more I spoke directly, it would give others a space to speak directly with me. But what I began to notice was when I speak directly, the people I communicate with will double down on the way that they communicate. Very fascinating. Very fascinating. And it led me to this one point, this one nugget of knowledge for where I am. Stop seeking to be understood. Changed everything. It completely changed everything was once I stopped looking for understanding, I wasn't looking for expectation to be met. When I speak as honestly as I at my current level know how to and directly, no fluff, here's what it is. Here's what I'm experiencing. 
I don't regret it. That's simply it. I do not regret it. Because when I'm speaking or communicating with others, I do not speak with the intent of tearing them down, making them feel bad. It's merely for communication to share what I'm experiencing. And I'm hoping to, uh, hoping is an interesting word. I used to expect for others to receive that and share in kind. However, removing the expectations and wanting to be understood and simply being proud of myself for speaking directly and honestly, it allowed me to see the difference in myself and other travelers. And there are some travelers that appreciate the direct communication. It's not many, but there are some. I made my peace with that. On my journey, I've come across a lot more, a lot more travelers that they don't see it the same way. Indirect communication is the way to go. It's a little softer, if you will. It's uh, easier to digest, if you will, and to each their own. I don't believe there's a right or wrong to go about it. I'm sharing this to say the thoughts and insights that I have and that I share with you all and the reflections that I receive is simply food for thought. And this is why I always welcome to hear your side, your insights, the stories on your journey because there's knowledge in that as well. And I'm always open to it. The one thing that I do not demand of anybody else now is to, hmm. I don't demand them to experience my reality. When I was seeking understanding, that's what I was doing. I don't demand anybody to meet my expectation. When I was seeking understanding, that's what I was doing. Now, it's merely about expressing what I know to be true on my journey. And that's okay. And that allows me space to be proud of who I am, to check my ego as well and still be okay with who I am. Because giving that grace to myself, it gives grace to others, whether they would like to receive it or not, or whether they understand that that's what's happening. Now, in these shared thoughts, I do want to say to be unapologetically you. Now, that's different than being recklessly you. But realize that in order to communicate with others, sometimes we have to step back and reflect on how we communicate with ourselves. Because if we're not giving ourselves grace, if we're not treating ourselves properly, talking to ourselves in the correct manner in which we love it, without ego boosting, then how can we give that to others? I believe this is a exercise that should mostly, mostly, uh, we're not perfect, life happens. But mostly it should be done in secret with ourselves. So we can be honest. Once we bring out outside people, outside forces, influences, some convolution there. You shouldn't be honest with yourself. A uh, simple exercise I did was I would reflect on some of the things that I said or situations I responded or reacted to throughout the day. And I would say, if someone told that to you, how would you feel? 
how would you experience that? And if I'm okay with it, regardless of how the world will respond, I would say, how would you feel? Not how would the average person respond? How would you feel? How would you react? How would you respond? And when that answer is, I'd appreciate it. I'd be grateful that they told me in a manner in which I could hear or receive it. And then I'm okay. However, if I think about some communications that I've had and I say, oh, I wouldn't like that. Oh, that wouldn't feel good to me. Then that's something I must move forward and change. I'm accountable for self. And in bringing peace to myself, I can bring peace to others. But I had to take inventory in self first. And it, that work is never done. It's ongoing. As long as I'm in this vessel, it's all going. Then the next vessel is ongoing. That's all right. That's all right. But at this current time, I've made my peace with that. I share these things because as you go deeper within, as you forge your path, you not only begin to see yourself differently, but you begin to see others around you differently. Whether they're further ahead, behind you, side by side, on a whole nother side of reality, you can see them or not differently. And over time, maybe faster than you believe, you won't take them personally. You won't take their actions, their communications personally. It is simply be an understanding of that's where they are. You don't owe the patience to wait for them to understand. And they don't owe you that either. With these things said, it's simply a thoughts that I have to share at the moment. I look forward to speaking to you fellow travelers and sharing more insights. And hopefully, Here's some insights of yours as well. Until then, be blessed.